Hey Mark, uh, this is John from uh, Pottery Works. I'm uh, just going to give you a comment on your uh, video for your clock. That was great. Uh, in fact, it gave me a few ideas and I wanted to share them with you. Uh, you thrown your cylinder just the way you throw it. The only thing really I do different is I leave it wet. Now this is done on a plastic bat. What I'll do is cut it from the bat, a little more water on the bottom, and I move it wet. It seems to get a little better. Now you can do this with two pieces of plywood, or two pieces of wood and flatten it out evenly, but I like doing it this way. Sorry about that. Um, now what I'm doing is just pushing it in by hand. Now you're still trapping air inside. So every once in a while you have to lift and let the air out. You feel it blowing up like a balloon. Just push. You want to keep enough air in there. So when you do push on it, now what I do is I'll take a, uh, a rubber rib, just to get my fingerprints out of it. I still have some of that iron oxide slip left on the bottom underneath this thing. Well, you get the idea. Get the same, the same look that you had. Just, I think it's a little easier doing it this way. You don't have to wait for it to dry, and there's less chance of it cracking. But I've also made a couple. I want to show you. Pardon the camera. All right, this one here is uh, woodland. Got some dragonflies and some bugs and leaves. I've used white slip for your numbers. Uh, what I did is I made some pieces of rolled out. I put a wood grain on them so they have vines on it. That's clock number one. And clock number two, I stayed with your swirly design. Stuff I put the swirl on the top, the swirl on the feet, the swirls on the just the four numbers. As you can see, they're also painted. I sprayed on the slip just like you did. Now the only thing I'm going to do different is, is this. What I do is I cover it with a white glaze. Now this is cone 6. It's the same clay, same uh, iron oxide slip on the outside as you can see it under here. But when you dip it in white, all your carved show up a lot whiter. Now if I did the same thing in cone 10 I get this. This has been scafitted with the uh, iron oxide slip. I carved it out, dipped it in white glaze. You can see the color of the glaze inside. And then when it's fired to cone 10 of course it goes black. Uh, again thanks for uh, Thanks for the thing with the clock. That was a great idea. I said I'm making another one. And uh, hope you enjoy my video. Thanks.